Man, two videos in one night. What is up to a Patriot Ranch family? Uh, I really actually just wanted to jump on here. I've been meaning to get on all week, talk about a few things going on in the country um, that have uh, really kind of uh, flustered me a little bit. Obviously, the first one that I'm sure everybody is aware of right now, uh, which is the... Uh, divide between the state of Texas and, uh, you know, the United States government. Um, I guess you could call it a divide. We call it a lot of other things. Um, I don't like using um, the word that a lot of other people are throwing around right now um, that this could lead to. I think it's dangerous. Um, I'm not dismissing it by any means. I just try not to try not to use that word. Um, but man, I just don't know the government, uh, sorry, Governor Abbott uh, really had a choice. Um, you know, you've got the uh, mayors and all these other big cities that uh, DeSantis and Abbott are flying uh, the illegal immigrants to, and they're all up in arms when they're not even border states. You look at the state of Texas, uh, just an enormous border with Mexico. Uh, and there are illegal immigrants flowing by the millions over the last couple of years across that border. We have no idea where they're from. We have no idea what their intent is. Um, you know, it's not just South Americans. It's not just Mexicans. It's not Gu just Guatemalans and not just Hondurans. We're talking about Chinese, CCP. We're talking about um, ISIS, we're talking about Al-Qaeda, we're talking about Taliban, we're talking about all these other bad actors out there. Um, we have got to stem the flow of people freely across our southern border. We absolutely do not have a choice but to stop it. And kudos for Governor Abbott for stepping up and saying, you know what? Federal government, if you're not going to take care of this, then we're going to do it on our own and screw whatever you try to tell us. I think the second best thing in this whole scenario is that I believe we're up to 29 other states right now have signed on to say, yeah, we're with you, Texas. We are right there with you, including my state, the great state of Florida, Governor DeSantis, um, as sad as I would see him to kind of drop out of the presidential race, um, you know, just not his time, but awesome governor, glad to have him back. He is back and fierier than ever. Um, you know, it's really cool to see him out there uh, supporting Texas, knowing that it's the right thing to do, has committed whatever resources necessary to govern our Abbott and the people of Texas. And um, it's just a matter of time. Um, before all the problems infiltrate your neck of the woods too. You know, I lived in Southern California for 14 years. Uh, I met a lot of great people that had come across the border. Um, a ton. This is not about those people. This is about the bad actors. And we have to figure out a way to sort out the good people from the bad people before we let them freely enter our country. We've got enough internal problems here, enough crazies that we don't need to be worried about who's coming across our Southern border right now. So Texas, man, I know the 2A community, we're with you. We are with you 100%. Could not be more with you. Because everybody knows that one ounce of government overreach is too much. Because what happens? They get away with it, and then they take a little more, and then they take a little more, and then they take a little more, 
And next thing you know, your freedoms are gone. That's why I fight for the 2A community. Because if you look at examples in history, it started by disarming the populace. If they take away the guns, the populace has to be submissive. And I know that the the 2A fight doesn't directly correlate to illegal immigration. But the way that it does is they are both the government not doing their job. The government doing their job with the 2A community, leave us the fuck alone. Leave us alone. We're good. Go after the criminals. Not me. I'm not breaking any laws out here with firearms. Not using them for any nefarious activities. Go get the criminals. And the government not doing their job at the southern border is enforcing federal law. I don't know if everybody understands. Coming across the border without authority is illegal. That's why it's called illegal immigration. It is against the law. It is not legal. I don't know how many other ways I can say it. That's the first offense. The second offense is that these people then go and get jobs that they are not allowed to get. That is illegal. It is against the law. And the third and possible most crucial things, because it applies not only to just those people looking to come to our country and get a job or or better themselves or whatever it may be, but this third illegal activity also applies to all those other people I was talking about, the Chinese, the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, whoever else it may be. It's they then go and get illegal documentation. They get fake IDs. They get fake social security cards. They open up bank accounts. They then can transfer money. It's simple, people. One person coming across our border usually violates three laws right then and there. Right then and there. If the federal government is going to pick and choose which laws they enforce, why have laws at all? Because they seem to be picking and choosing the ones that apply to you and me, but not the ones on the border against pedophiles, against white collar, left-wing liberals. Instead, they go after the 2A community. They go after corporate America. They go after Donald Trump. They go after Roger Stone. They go after all these people for crimes that most people are never even prosecuted for because they can and because we let them. Governor Abbott, Again, I say thank you because you're a step in the right direction. You're a step to putting a stop to the government not doing its job. Those are my thoughts tonight, fam. I knew it was going to get a little deep. That's why I kind of wanted to take some time this week to really talk about it and think about it and and, uh, talk to some friends about it and, you know, We're at at a crossroads, like I talked about in my New Year's message. It's about time we, the people, stand up and do something. Until next time, I'm John from 2A Patriot Ranch. See you guys. (laughs) 